Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus and this is episode 108 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. We are now about to dive into the next little part here. We Last time we built this very easy gold part and I kind of left it at that and went out and stole some uh, gold plates. However, that's all the gold plates we have and these gold or this gold ore will not help us. So we're going to have to create some gold, some very efficient gold bars here. So we're going to use this process, the first process it, then pellets, then ingots with chlorine gas, then molten, and then lastly, gold plates. This will be needed for a lot of these uh, these items up here. Let's see, for example, the module contact, I think that's the only one. Oh, and also that logic board, and even worse for the processor board that we will eventually need. So this is a place where I need very efficient. So the things I need on top of gold ore is actually we need some saline because that's how we get chlorine. Um, that is this one. We're going to get 1,000 of that. And we can get it, yes. And we're also going to need some coal because coal is actually... Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe actually crushed coal. I think I'll need crushed coal instead. Where's my crushed coal? Here. I'll get 1,000 of that. Yeah, good. So that's now coming in and I will adjust it here so that this will be crushed coal and then I'll take it out in two different here. This one will be, which one needs to go further out? I suppose that's uh, the saline and this will be good. So that's how we are going to get this. Let's also take this out here. It's important that I take it out from the other side I always have to go in on this side and then I can take it out on this this one. Let's be absolutely sure that we use the gold ore and not just anything. Now that's where we have the gold ore coming out. So let's start by saying over here we have some, well actually the first thing is that we need to be able to make, yep here we go. That is a key prerequisite that we can actually transform this into Chlorine. Let's have a look at how this is done. First, I'm gonna let's just see chlorine. How do we create this? I think it's the electroly electrolysis here of saline water. Oh, I also get sodium hydroxide. That's perfect. Good. So saline water is what I got, and now I need an electrolyzer or a few, maybe a few actually. Where do we have electrolyzers? Shouldn't they be here? Oh, there is. One, two. Do we guess that's enough? I will make three. Okay, and they're gonna be all the way over here. There, there, and there. I don't quite know how much room I need. And we will get an unbarreler that comes in here. That goes quite handily all the way in and goes all the way out. We'll figure out how that's going to work eventually. But so far, so good. You're going to unbarrel the saline water. You're going to drag it in here. Done. We're going to get some power poles, intermediate power poles. That also works. And we are going to one, two, one. Again, I could build this with some efficient robots, but I don't. I like actually crafting this kind of thing myself. And I will be flaring everything, all of the hydrogen. I could barrel the hydrogen, can I? Can I barrel hydrogen? I can barrel hydrogen. Why not? Why not indeed? Why not indeed? Then I'm going to try barreling hydrogen. Uh, okay. That means... That's interesting. I have no idea why that why I would want that, but let, let's do that. That comes out here. So here we are barreling hydrogen. I don't know. It, it it might be a good idea and might not be a good idea. And this goes on, and that one as well goes on. So those will need to find a way back to this location. Um let's see here. Okay, that's definitely 
doable, but it's inconvenient at best. Great, so you're grabbing stuff from here and putting it here. Let's get some power poles and let's also hook them back up to the main network. That's good. This one is also okay-ish, I think. And that works. Great, so now we have the client ready. I wonder if there's something else here. If this is as simple as this. Oops, that's wrong. I have to do this. Oh, and this works perfectly without adjustment. This is so nice. I love it. Anyway, we are now ready for the next part of the gambit here. This goes under. That's, what's that? Refined Crotinium to gold? Yeah, okay, so there's a draw on the gold because of this. So that draws everything else out and then it's no longer in balance. Excellent. I will also take this one and I want to make sure that it comes up next to the other one. I think that's best if they are close by. Yep, here. I guess we're going to need more of these. Um, let's craft them, just a few. All right, and now comes the interesting part. I have also pre-crafted some of these. This is the first item. Let's see if I can remember how it's done. It's done like this. Maybe even further in. Like that. And pallet press goes here. This goes here. That's gold. This one is also gold. It's actually yellow, it's not gold. The color at least here. Okay, and the other one. Yes, perfect. So now we have the raw materials coming in. Now the next part will be the next part. That will be the blast furnace. I did not even craft any pre-craft any blast furnaces. I oh can I can still craft some. Let's see. There, I think. Let's see what how what they're gonna look like. That's gonna be in the middle one. This one will be gold. And how the hell are we gonna get the this one in here? Because if we just look at this, I think I'll take it in from the other side. Right, that one, that one, that one. And then we'll something along those lines. And this one, I don't know. Whoa, that was totally incorrect. Auto save. So if I do something stupid, it will not mess it up completely. There. Chlorine coming in. Excellent. That's probably not a good idea to do it now because I might need to change it now. Let's next one, next one, indeed. Um, that will be this. I'm gonna make it a bit wider than it usually is. Ooh, that's so close. Molten gold. Yes, and lastly, we will have the casting machines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is not good enough. Of course, I should have started from this end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, and as always, the habit rules that I must have copper in those lines. And that's the last item, gold, coming in this way. And once that's done, everything's done. Like that. Okay. Now we start filling up with, from the beginning. First, it goes into this one. Then it goes from each of these. Into the pellet, pre pellet, pellet press, yes. Pellet press, yes. Okay, so far so good. Now I need to jam it into these. One, two, 
three. One, three. And these need to be special bobs and sorters that are diagonal, like this. Um, there. Yeah, now they are pointing outwards and these are not fully charged and I need to get this part. Unfortunately, usually I can always do this, but that's not even good enough. Hmm. Copy, paste. And same will be over these two and these two. That one, copy, LN, copy, paste. All right, so far so good. And I also need it on the other side, though it's not necessary. One, two. And the question is, should I take it this way? I think I should. Good. Now that side is now done. I am missing the other side, which will be pretty much the same. Let's build that. And I'm kind of contemplating, can I do this? If I can, that would be nice. Yeah, it's almost good, almost good. That one's not needed, but this one is. Like so. And the next level, will that also be possible? I'll at least try this. That looks about right, I guess. And I'm missing a couple more. Good. This of course needs to be the other way. It's not much to kind of design and discuss in the setup. It's just a matter of building it, yeah? Like that. And then once all of this is done, it's a matter of hooking it up and see if it, if it works. Yes. In, that's inbound, good. And we have the gold and now it's a matter of hooking it up and seeing if it works. All right, I think I actually need more of these power poles. And let's also build some more of these normal ones. We're gonna need it. I guess we can do this part. That's easy enough. Ah, I'm missing something. I'm missing L, N, copy. Don't have more. That one, that one, that one. And these two as well. Oh, that's already there. So I'm. Um, this one needs to be copied over. Be copied over. Be copied over. And kind of that one. No. That one. That one. And these need to be changed because they actually need to pick up slightly, uh, slightly off. Except so now they are all working. Oh, these need to be L N N. Copy, paste, 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 and also over here, paste. And I'll just set these up. That's pretty easy. Now let's actually set one in the middle as well. All right, so far so good. I like this very much. And I have gold coming out. Then of course, just a few lights here and there. That's two, four, five. This is pretty decent. It's actually an okay speed I've created this with. Now, we have gold. 
in quite okay quantities. None of this will be capped. The only thing I'll cap is that one because I don't want more than when it comes to gold. I want, what should we see? 2,000? I don't know. How much is this one capped at? 2,000, that's not much actually. I'm gonna cap this at 5,000. I say, and then I cap it at two because I actually don't know if this is, it must be linked, right? You can see this one has 1,000, this has 1,000 and that's 2,000 in total. So this is the total amount. I think this is actually not enough. Let's at least make the 2,500. On this one, I want to make sure that I, if I need it, I can draw out uh, 3,000. How many of these do we have? Not many, considering the lowest number I can get is 1,000 of them. But we now have a very well-functioning production of gold that we can use for our future setups. Excellent. Now, I also have lithium. Lithium, oh yeah, this just comes from up here. You can see you still have a couple of squares left that I haven't utilized yet. So let's start working towards those. This is now available. This one over here was requesting gold. I still have quite a bit of gold left. No, let's actually request some of it and put it in here just for the hell of it. Still have... No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Damn. Um, yeah, whatever. How much is that? That's 1.6. Let's put it in here. I rather want it in the storage location than in the where it's being consumed, at least for now. All right, onwards. Let's have a look at what we're gonna build because I think the next one will be pretty huge. Uh, that will be this one. Oops. Let's start setting. Oh, come on. There we go. And we're in. Now this one, let's have a look at our, oh, we forgot module thingy here. I cannot build. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself on these things. Where are the red ones? They can't be built because I'm missing that one. Okay, let's build that one and everyone's happy. Now, let's go back to the modules and take a look. I've now created the module logic board, so I will be able to do the speed logic board. Right, so I guess it's probably best since this requires these four things and this one requires the same four things and same and the same and the same. One, two, three, four, five. There really should be six, right? No, there's five. One, two, three, four, five, and then the three new ones. But those I have to create manually. Yeah, they'll be created somewhere else. However, Oh yeah, I do need them. Let's see where we need the speed module to. Here, for example, speed logic board. Good, I'm gonna make the speed logic board. Then I will say circuit logic board. Uh, no, Jerome Fenta Cotelet or whatever it's called. Um, what was it? Circuit logic board. Do I have that already? Circuit board, circuit logic board. There's just so many names that are so much alike. Copy, paste, and it'll go nice and pink. And I'll change the name of this one out. All right, let's start by requesting what we actually <clears throat> need for this one. Let's see. In order for doing this, I need the module logic board, I need transistors, I need integrated joints, and I need solder. And I'm gonna need 2000 of each. And now I can't remember a single one of those. Module logic, yes, please. 2000. Oh, it's possible. Integrated uh, transistors, definitely. Minus 2000. Yes. Integrated electronics, minus 2000. And I can, for the life of me, recall the last one. Solder. And just checking, was it right? Transistors and integrated, and then solder. So I need to solder them together minus 2000 awesome that's what we need let's see if i need to bring them out on separate sides just to make sure that it evens up and i think i'm actually going to do that so here let's see 
how fast is this production? Whoa, why can't I build this? Why can I not build this? All oh, right, okay, well, let's request that as well. 1,000 of these. Oh, that's unfortunate that I carry around ferric chloride and cyanide water. That's a mistake. That one as well is a mistake. All right, now these are coming, and you can see there's a bit of junk left in each of them. That's a bit of a shame. And I don't want you shoving things back and forth. So I'm going to take you and build... Wow, now things are really coming in quite crazy. That is the module logic board, and it is, let's say, the solder there. And this one will then go the other way. That will be the transistors and the electronics. Good. And it's offloading pretty fast. Yes. This will be solder, and this one will be the other one. The module, logic board. And I'll do the same on the other side, here and here. This one will be transistors. Transistors. This one will be integrated. And then I'm just going to link them together like this. And actually, I would. Whoa, I cannot build loaders. Why not? Oh, because of that. Thank you. Loader. Let's build 10 loaders. I need loaders. In the meantime, I can't wait for it. I'm going to build it myself. This one will be solder. Good. And that can be linked into one. Yes, something. And I will need this one, the red. Now, the question here is whether this is enough. I mean, I. I just have the prior the content at this point and that not good design. Yeah, okay, they are slowly sorting into place. We are gonna build a ton of these. But let's see. How fast are you building? If I, I wanna five and it requires a little, it's probably not gonna work. Those belts will be they can't be mixed. That's not good enough. This is not working. It will not carry enough capacity. So I'm going to take him out here. Mm. I just can't do this one. Goes here. That one. I can actually bridge it underneath here. I like that. I like that very much. Solder. And I'm gonna go under and under. So at this point, we now have four lines here. All right, and I'm um, because of a four, it's quite obvious that I need more. Why do I not have more? I don't have enough iron. Okay, let's get 2000 more iron. Oops, that was a mistake because now I got way more than I needed. But iron, I do need. I'm gonna need 2,000 iron for sure. Minus 2,000. I love this way of just get on with. It. For example, this one: 1,000 electronic components to transistors, from transistors out to module circuit board in. That's here, right? Module circuit boards. That that is. Oh, damn. So much for that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to drag them out, sort of here, maybe. That was not good enough. Let's try to figure out how we're going to get those four lanes in in a meaningful way. <clears throat> it will kind of be like a bus that goes, I don't know, like here. I'd actually need it way further out. But anyway, so we are going to have to bridge them into two lanes and then build these on the side. We can build them as long as we want. 
but how do I get four lanes? Make that into two times two in a convenient, easy manner. You know what? It would actually be easier if they came from over here. Yep, that's the truth, isn't it? So we're going to have two from each side. I think they like that better. And we got our iron. Unfortunately, we are running out of time. I'm going to need to think about this, but we're going to continue on this next time. So, uh, oh, and again, I have to remove this. Damn it. Anyway, thank you very much for joining. Uh, we have created our gold in vast quantities and we've started now on the module what are they called actually the module logic boards right module logic boards the module logic boards will be what we need for the better uh, better what's better better boards better modules yes okay but that's gonna be next time we're gonna do some uh, spaghetti here so thank you very much for joining and i'll see you next time cheers bye